Hi there. If you are interested to know how easy it is in SAP Business by Design to create a KPI, this is the right video for you to watch. So a KPI is a management number which is based on your business processes and monitored by jointly by multiple people on a continuous basis. You can find in SAP Business by Design a KPI on the launchpad as tiles, as you can see it here. Furthermore, you can monitor your KPIs on the overview page, which includes KPI and report cards. So you find such small cards like gross revenue, showing you the numbers and the criticality, but you also find larger cards, which include the context information and uh, typically uh, show you like this Maverick spending KPI, show you the context report as additional information. So before we start creating a KPI, um, you have to know that a KPI is a corporate asset which is typically created centrally by the key user for a group of people for, for the company. And for this, we have the view, the, the work center view, design KPIs. A KPI is normally or typically based on a report. And that's the reason why I would like to demonstrate the creation process of a KPI based on a, a report, which we open as key user. So we go into uh, the design reports view and search for a report which we want to use as a basis for our KPI. So I choose the earned profit report as an example, and we open the report as a key user. That's the reason why it's called here open by administrator in Business Analytics Work Center. So the first thing we see is the selection pane where we can decide what data is shown in the KPI or we have predefined prepared selections such as the year to date um, selection, which now shows us the profit numbers here year to date. It's quite important to understand that you have basically two choices. You can either maintain absolute values, so you can hard code those values, but by time dependent filters, it's quite smart to use the relative values here current year to, uh, year to date, which allows you to dynamically adapt your, your selection to the current period. So with this, we change to the view pane, which now shows me that on the rows, we see the product categories in my company. And I see numeric columns, which are represented as key figures in um, SAP by design, and they compare sales revenue, operating profit, operating profit margin, where, as you can see, this operating profit is based on an exception, which you can define in the analysis pattern. In a, I will show this in a separate video. So we are interested in operating profit in this number of 449,000 US dollars. And for this, we want to create the KPI. Let's do this and let's uh, just create a KPI. So KPI, to summarize, is based on a report column, a key figure in my report, and is combined and, and, and enhanced by additional management information, such as target threshold and reference information. So to for this video, it's maybe to make it easily retrievable, we start with uh, uh, ZZZ and call this operating profit and then have a description. For example, we want to add that this, this is based on the earned profit, which we are interested to see. So we create this KPI and with this step, automatically a KPI definition is created in your work center view design KPIs, which we have seen before. And we take the current selection to retrieve exactly this number and we take this view as a basis, as a, as a context report. So with this, I move to the view design KPIs and I search for ZZZ just for the video to make it very, very easy for you to find. And here our KPI is already created with the res respective report 
the key figure we have selected and the current value is based on this selection. We uh, change the value settings so that we don't want to see decimals and maybe we want to see the values in kilo, which is quite interesting. And in the context report, that means the details which explain this number, we have this view selected on which we created the KPI. Let's keep things very simple and let's just save this. And let's add this KPI to our personalization. So I go to the launchpad, go to start personalization mode. And here I find a gallery. I want to add it to my profitability group. And I add my KPI, just operating profit, just the one we created. I can save this now, stop personalization. And let's now see the 449k, which uh, show me a basic KPI detail screen, which is based on this view. Here's the number and I have no target and no reference yet defined. So let's do this by, by closing this, going to the design KPI view, select my KPI again and do some further work. So first let's define the thresholds. So for example, I want to compare my KPI against a target value, which in this case I can enter a fixed value. I want to compare it against 600,000, which I, which I am expecting to, to reach year to date. And this is based on my forecast version 3.2. I can choose a reference value. That's the last year value, which I want to use to compare my, my current value against. Of course, I, have a, um, I can get this from a report with a different selection. For example, last year, year to date. Just to keep the video short, I, I just enter another, another uh, number here. And uh, I enter as display name last year year to date. So of course I also want to, to monitor this KPI with my thresholds. I want to maximize profits. So the green is on the right hand side. Costs would be minimized just as, a, as an example. So to maximize I compare this to my targets. Let's say when I achieve 85% I get to the yellow area and as soon as I get to 95% this KPI starts to get green. I can add additional context reports for my pull-down uh, menu. And let's now save and close this. But there's one small, small thing I want to change. Maybe the table we just have seen is not too nice. Maybe it's better to have a chart. So I can go back and open the same report from here again with the same selection. and. In this case, I want to maybe change the view and get rid of those two other fields. And let's just maybe make a chart of, out of it, which is maybe better to, to visualize. So with this, I save my profit chart. I close this view and I now choose my profit chart with type ahead, you see it, and now save and close it. And now I can go back to my launchpad where I see the KPI again. So now it's red, it's the 449k. Show me the target value I've selected. Show me the reference value. And this time I can see the chart, which is now also been able to be displayed as a table. Of course, I can have alternative context reports and I can directly go into the analysis pattern, as you can see it here, where I can further drill down to uh, more detailed dimensions I'm interested in. So for example, I want to drill down to see this by customer. Let's not look at the IDs, only at the descriptions. 
And so it's easy to, to understand how these 494K are, uh, are achieved considering product categories and customers. Last but not least, I would like to, to now to add this KPI to my overview page. Again, I go into personalization and open the gallery, which of course includes the same KPIs we have seen on the launch pad. And again, ZZZ, I see my operating profit. I create a card, I add a card operating profit to it. Um, let's save it. Or let's maybe first do some, some changes to it. So let me page down. find my operating profit. So here it is. You can now adapt the settings of this uh, card by, for example, saying I want, in this case, want to see a collapsed card and I want to see it in a, on a hourly basis. So we press apply, we save the card have a look at the result and we find our operating profit finalized with all the information we are interested to see. So with this, thanks for your attention. Hope you found this interesting and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.